All right. Well, greetings, everyone. Welcome to Dragonlance, the Thorns of War. Uh, this is chapter nine. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited. We should actually finish a section of the book tonight, um, which is probably nine. just shy of halfway through the adventure. So, or if y'all die today, then it's going to be all the way through the adventure. Uh, kind of depends. <laughs> Very nearly happened to me last, last time. Because you weren't here. To protect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's uh, let's start with introductions, and then we'll go into recap a little bit. And um, uh, you know what? Actually, I'll do introductions. I specifically told you I was going to get something off the printer, and I did not. So mm. y'all want to say hi, and uh, and then I will. Uh, I'll I'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see. Let's open. Who's the top? Screen. I can't. I don't have the. I have the chat only thing open. Why did I just close? I, yeah, leave the printer alone. Says Vader Kid. <laughs> we'll have to hear that in post. I'm <laughs> gonna <laughs> look up the stream. Uh, Jan Who's is the at the top. Oh. Or something. You're muted. I think Jan. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah, okay. Well, hello. Hi. I'm Jen. I play Saria. I am a half elf wizard. Um, yeah. Next underneath me, well, actually, underneath me is the DM. So then it's uh, Doug and Esther. <laughs> go ahead. Let's go first. <laughs> I'm Esther. I play Rowena. Um, a ranger. I'm Doug. I uh, play Zeroth, uh, a rogue. I'm James Friend. I play Jampleton, the human cleric. And I am Atropos, and I'm playing Griffiduth Ladron, Salamnic Knight of the Sword, and I'm a human fighter battlemaster. Nice. And our DM is muted. Oh, no. I did it! Ah! Oh, darn it! I was mocking Jen for it being muted, and it yes. backfired! Oh, yes! Oh, I love awesome. it! <laughs> Vader Kid, two, two gift subs for two days in a row with Jen having her mic muted. Uh, thank you so much, dude. Um, let's get some chocobos in the chat for uh, for Vader Kid. Um where is oh vader kid with another gift sub for possibly my, me muting yeah um if we could get some That's more people if we can get some more people to mute their mic real quick i'd really appreciate it uh <laughs> no some that more chocobos <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Dude, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Welcome, one and all. All right, so um, we are um, we are uh, uh, mostly back to Kalaman at this point. Um, I Griffith had helped lead some of the refugees from S wild on foot back to town. And you're about to get there. Um, while the rest of everyone went more quickly on horse because they knew that, uh, Bacaris, the elder was going to be leading a possibly foolhardy mission North to steel Springs to, uh, try to bring the war back at the draconians instead of constantly playing defense. Um, <clears throat> as you did come back, you brought, uh, you brought back a, uh, a, a, a book, uh, like a journal, um, of, uh, filled with like troop movements 
and um, orders, just general orders in there. And when you when you got it back and you presented it to the council over Kalaman, um, <clears throat> you realized there was a new update in there and that the um, the lure to the north was a trap and they were uh, they were planning to uh, to to try to decimate Kalaman's forces there. You rode north valiantly and uh, and rescued the army and brought them uh, brought them back. Um, a couple of other things that have happened and and are likely to <clears throat> rear their ugly head again in case unless I forget, in which case they're not going to play into this adventure at all anymore um, is that, uh, Zeroth has made a friend, uh, and almost got her killed by sicking a towered wizard on her. Um, but, I didn't uh, mean to. <laughs> um, it's you part, didn't try very hard not to either. It's part of Zeroth's <laughs> inability to keep a secret when people <laughs> specifically ask him to keep a secret. Um, well, to be fair. He didn't yes. tell the Tower Wizard. He told everyone else because the Tower Wizard was already chasing. That's true. That's true. That is true. Um, you, uh, Thank you. This, uh, this renegade wizard has spotted a great evil in, uh, in her scrying bowl, which Saria broke. Um, uh, Saria also got a glimpse into this bowl and saw this undead creature in the ar in the ancient armor of a knight of Salomnia. And uh, it, it made her recall of uh, three knights that she saw on the bank as y'all escaped Vogler um, just a couple of days ago. Um, that, uh, uh, that renegade wizard did tell Zeroth to just beware that a great evil was coming and um, uh, just generally be on the lookout. Um, otherwise, uh, um, oh shoot, Esther, what is your character's name? I'm blanking. Rowena. Thank you. Gosh, there's too many, too many different adventures. Uh, Rowena. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is that, Paul? <laughs> Certainly not mine. I am going to. I'm going to blame. <laughs> I'm going to blame uh, Jeff because um, he wanted to do. To He's do not VHS. here. <laughs> oh, we you had a hype train. I didn't even see it. Come on. Oh, hype train. Yeah. Let's get some hype trained. Yeah, Thrash also subbed earlier. Did he? Oh, Thrash. I just want to put that yeah, out. I'm missing it. everything. Let's get yeah. some doggies and kitties in the in the chat. Some hype train. Uh, hype, hype train emotes in the chat. Oh, that's a cool frog. It's global. Oh, nice. This is a hype train one. I like that one. Thrash, thank you so much. Uh, uh, Rowena, you you have discovered that your mom, uh, Ken Saldi, <laughs> is with the bad guys. And um, she has uh, replaced one of her eyes with a jewel. So she as a Do person I? is worth at least 25 gold more because that's the price of that jewel. Um. <laughs> anything else we Deal. missed? I no, think I don't so. Think... Rowena got new bracers. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, that's right. I think that's about it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, great. We saved the army. Yeah. Back in the city. Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just that we were we repelled the invasion. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Uh, Griffith, you are bringing, you are bringing the, uh, the, the refugees back north on the road and, um, they've traveled well. Uh, they've, uh, uh, they have, um, uh, they've been focused. They want to get home there like, or, or to the castle. They do not want to hang out uh, anymore outside. And so you are coming in fairly quickly. You, as you're coming closer, um, roll me perception. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a 13. <clears throat> 13. I don't know if my, I don't know if I'm connected. Oh, through roll 20. Oh, oh we're not using roll 20 right now. Not, not yet. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right. Yeah. 13. You, you know, you notice that the, the bell is ringing, um, just twice. You'll remember that, uh, you were told earlier that, um, if they ring it twice, it's somebody friendly. If they just pull the bejesus out of it, that's, that's when you got to worry. Uh, right. and, and, uh, you think, oh, okay, they spotted us, but then actually you're looking ahead and you see three people on horseback. They are in armor and they are holding up a, a, a flag and the flag has the emblem of the Knights of the Rose, one of the orders of Salamnic Knights. And the three seem to be heading toward uh, toward the front, uh, toward the, the gate, the main gate of, of the town. Okay. So not towards us, but towards the gate. Right. Okay. Um, I'm assuming it's too far for me to recognize any of them. Yeah. Not with their armor on They are They're well wearing full helm. Uh, you know, the, the, the kind of bucket, bucket helms and, and all, uh, and so no, you do not recognize them. About how, how far are we from the gates? Um, not terribly far. You're definitely within uh, uh, distance that you can see see clearly. If you uh, okay. and you do have a horse, and so if um, yeah, uh, at this point you would feel that the people are safe if you wanted to yeah. ride ahead. Yeah, I think I'm going to look back and sort of I don't know. Uh, at the people that I've been traveling with and designate, you know, point to one of the, uh, the stronger, older guys and say, if you can take charge from here, I'm going to ride ahead and, and, um, to the gates, make sure that they can see that we're coming, know who we are and I'll spur my horse and right away. Okay. All right. Um, uh, the man will nod and go, I, and, uh, and you, you, you move on ahead um, as you get closer, the, uh, the, the, the three, uh, the, the gates are, are, are being opened for, uh, for these nights and, uh, you do, uh, you see them, you see them turn toward you and the one who, the one who's distinctly in front, you know, they're, they're kind of, uh, they're, they're riding in a wedge, uh, in a V and the one who's distinctly in front, um, uh, uh, will lift his hand to you and uh, and say, uh, uh, Hail there! Say, Hail, brother! Where are you riding from? Um, he'll kind of trot over to you, leaving the other two there, and he'll pull off, off his helmet. <clears throat> and this is... Um, <laughs> And uh, I'm going to let you decide whether you know this knight or not. He is a knight of the Rose named Jordanus. Um, he's, he's been with the order about 10 years. Well respected. Uh, it normally is more, uh, uh, more toward the center of Salamnia. Doesn't normally get out this far. 
Yeah, I think maybe I would have heard his name, but but may not have crossed paths with him, with him given especially specifically what my job was in yes. sort of roaming the uh, outer areas and hunting. He uh, he will ride forward and say, um, "Ah, fellow knight, I do not, I don't believe that we've met. My, I am Jordanus. I am Griffiduth Legion of the Sword. Well met." Um, we've just been, we've been sent from the West, uh, with, with more news of the battle. Um, I was, have you been out here long? Not terribly long, although we are glad to see you. We could use all the help that we can get if you are able to stay. I'm bringing refugees back from Wheelwatch. Um, it was, uh, it seems that it's been captured by some of these dragon folk. And those allied with them, at least. Well, we'll, we'll be able to stay a good while. So, um, uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps you would like to uh, to join us. We're going to go up to the, uh, hopefully, see the council right away. Of course, I bring news as well, as well as these refugees. Well, well, well good then. And um, <clears throat> y'all, will, y'all will head inside. So this is about the time that the rest of y'all are like. Uh, the 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 soldiers and and all have returned back into the castle and uh, everybody is um, safe within the walls. You um, you hear the bell gong twice and uh, and of course do you remember twice good but Jesus bad and so you're just waiting. It's like. No, okay, it's twice, and uh, and so that uh, y- you do know that that this is um, uh, that there there seems to be um, visitors to the castle. Now that everybody is in uh, in and safe again, what are y'all planning? Do I Did do we... I see the group? I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. No, y'all are, y'all are on to... opposite sides of the of the city. They're on the north side. You're on the south side at this point. Gotcha. Okay. We just got out of the council meeting, right? We just got no, back from that from the battle thing. We just battle. the army. Yeah. Right. I also saw that. I I noted that there's an apothecary. Did we go visit this apothecary already? Or were we wanting to do that? No, um, that's Wyhan, uh, who sent you to the test. Uh, the council had sent word to her to try to send magically send a message to the armies that it was a trap and to ah, flee. Okay, that's why I have that. Okay, that succeeded, I believe. It did yeah, succeed. Yes. succeeded. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, that said, did we talk about what we were going to do about this threat? coming from the south no, the one from the uh that the um renegade wizard talked about river yes river. yes the demons there are demons to the south yeah and you would you would you would know that that um uh that's dark guard castle that's uh, that's a fallen ca- a castle fallen to the undead, and so um, if she's talking about horrors coming from the south, that's what she's talking about. So would it be a surprise that there are horrors there, or only that they're only that they're north? moving? Yeah, they don't normally leave. It's mm-hmm. it's just like it's a haunted castle, and mm-hmm. uh, people don't go there; they don't come out. Ravenhall. Um, how how far south? Um, it would. It, on horseback, it'd probably be a few several days. Okay. Well, I don't know if I had already disclosed this to um, the rest of the group, but if not, I will now mention that I had seen something like that 
a few days ago when we were coming in. And at the time, I associated it with me getting ready for the test. And I didn't really think anything of it. But now that we have gotten this information from River, now I'm thinking something of it. Are we all together now? Have we all met up again? Can we assume that? No. We got up with Griffin? No. Not yet? No, y'all are on opposite sides of the town. Should we... I guess as you're talking, I'm going to... Should we... Do we find Griffin? Do we possibly get the party together and go to a tavern and have a pint and talk us over? Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> All right. So, go ahead. All right. So, are you going to head to toward the south side of town where you'd expect him to to come in? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. So, um, the the you know the main the main road you know goes goes. Uh, right up to the castle, and so uh, it would not be hard for y'all to find uh, find one another um, somewhere in between. And so the rest of you would see Griffith um, riding uh, riding together with this trio of of knights. Um, uh, Jordanus has uh, has introduced the other two as Nicholas and uh, Grenier. Uh, neither of which are familiar. They're they um, they're uh, they're younger knights, um, and and so they're they're not they're not overly familiar to you. Nicholas and what was the other one? Grenier. Uh, G R uh, G E R N I E R. Um, I'll introduce the party to the, uh, to the knights. Um, so I've been, uh, these are some of the adventurers that I've been traveling with recently. Um, oh, well, very, through there. very good. A, um, a red robe wizard. Very nice. Um, a, a kinder. That's a, that's a choice that people have made in the past. At times, <laughs> it's been I don't when they, her following us as a choice. When they <laughs> lose bets, sometimes. <laughs> but yes, this was not uh, our choice. But we're not certainly not going to turn someone away if they want to help. <laughs> they were in a in a wheel watch with me. Ah, yes, yes. Well, um. Griffith has told me about about what you saw there, and I uh, I'm I'm sad to say that it's not it's not unusual based on what others have seen. But uh, we've been sent out here to um, help reinforce a little bit. So we were just uh, on the way to uh, to the council. I thought since uh, we could we could make it a. A, 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 an old-fashioned report of the knights, you know, get on the old, like in the good old days. <laughs> I've, and I'll, I'll ask the the party: Have have you met with the council yet? Yes, yes, we did. Um, and actually, I I think that we. We should probably let you know that this this journal that we found it's it's obviously magic and it's been updating or it updated since we brought it back and we ended up having to go handle a situation while we were waiting on you to come back. Uh, journal. What? Yeah, a journal is the book that you keep notes in. <laughs> well, I I understand. I know what a journal is. Uh, where did you find this journal? Uh, I have no watch. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, it do we seems still have it, or did we give it to the council? You gave it to the council. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems if the council's already been appraised of the situation in Wheel Watch, um, perhaps it would not be most uh, expedient use of my time if. Uh, for me to go to them and reiterate. I am curious, though, what news you're bringing from the West. Um, um, well, 
it's been several months of uh, uh, of being sieged, but we have um, we have won some victories, which is allowing us to push outward. And so, I, uh, lots of bad news, lots dead, but some real strategic victories. That's can I, can I, can I, can I uh, do, uh, for some reason I'm getting a vibe off of this guy. Can I just, am I sure if he's. I actually had the same thought. Genu genuine. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to ask for an insight check, but I also <laughs> don't know how to ask. You can ask or, for an insight check. Know. Can I, can I do the insight check? Cause I'm, I'm a little bit, sure. like, I don't know this guy. I don't think that well. And Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Hey, is um by the way, is uh we we leveled up to level five, right? I think or is that, are we doing individual levels up or I think it's Where level five for most of you. Okay. Sorry is a level ahead because she did the test. Right. But it's, uh... I... Well for some reason mine's saying four, but I'm pretty sure it said five last time, so I don't know why. Oh, that's weird. It dropped it down. Yeah. So I was just wondering why it... So I'll just re redo that, I guess. Uh, we got an advantage. So... Yeah. I guess oh, that's for Doug. Okay. Cool, thank you. Avreldia? Well, yeah. thank you very much. I'm practicing saying that name. Uh, uh, a 24. 24. Um... There's, there's definitely something he has. He's not telling yet. Yeah. I'm gonna. Yes, uh, uh, yeah, I was gonna I say, guess is it like obvious that you're, uh, that you don't trust these people? It's gonna be obvious because he can't keep a secret to save his life. I he's gonna immediately I say, "I don't believe you, sir." <laughs> I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be like. Uh, did you say you came? Where from? did you say you came from? Again? Thank you, thank you, Rowena. I'm gonna say that exactly. Where did you say you came from again? From farther west in Salamnia. Farther west, and, and from. Where specifically? <laughs> Are you saying that? No. <laughs> yes, I need your help. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast detect good and evil. Um, for the duration, you know, if there's an aberration, celestial, elemental, fey fiend, or undead within thirty feet of you, as well as where the creature is located. <laughs> uh, there's other stuff, but. That's all I was interested in. Um, okay. Uh, all three of these nights light up like a Christmas tree. And mm -hmm. no way. And Jordana oh. smiles and says, very clever. Holy I'm cow. Gonna, I'm going to drop my visor. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one else saw it yet, right? But oh, no. I'm gonna, I'm oh, gonna he's, say... he's, he's going to say out loud because he, he, he sees it. He says, very clever. Priest. Oh, okay. Well, these guys are undead, and then I'm immediately going to pull out my weapon. I'm going to jump over the... Yeah, I'm jumping into a bush or something. Jumping into a bush? I don't know. I'm not a rogue. I need to get out of the way. Like a... <laughs> okay, all right. Let's, uh, uh, they're drawing weapons, so let's roll initiative. Holy people, God. are we like in town? Yes. Are there like yes. people? Oh, Somehow they got into town. By the way, I the moment you mentioned three nights, I was like, these are those three guys from the river uh, when they're still outside Ooh. town. I, I was just waiting that for. I didn't think yeah. about that. I was just waiting for. I didn't a think time of that to... either. They actually aren't. But <laughs> what? Oh, hey, but I, still, no. I I wow. walked into that one. Um. <laughs> Yeah, they sure seem like those three guys from the river. That's you could have said nothing, and we would have we would be sitting here thinking we are neutralizing the threat. <laughs> right? Exactly. No, there's another oh, there threat. Oh, all right. Nice. Dang. 
they were in trouble. Okay. Uh, who has 15 or over? Me. Okay. I uh, have oh, a 20. Let me, let me, 20. Let me roll it. Uh, Griffin, what do you have? Not me. I have a 23. I have a 21. I have a 6. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, not my turn yet. Oh, I have a question. Would I have, during the course of my um, traveling back, have taken a long rest or a short rest? Long rest. Okay. That's important because I'm, from the last session I played, very messed up. <laughs> Uh, Rowena, what did you get? 13. Um... Okay, Griffin, uh, you are up first. All right. They have pulled their swords out. So I haven't. I. I don't know. Um, I mean, obviously something's very amiss. But do I? Am I clued in on exactly what's going on? Um, you just said out loud. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you do get advantage uh, on. Your roll, if you take one. I will. I yeah, immediately going to drop my visor, <laughs> lower my lance, and charge, because that, that's what I do best. Okay. Um, Who are you going after? Uh, Jordanus, I think. All right. And I'm going to make two attacks with my lance, uh, and what the second one will be a fainting attack. So. Ooh. That was real bad. Oh, you said I have advantage on the first attack? Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, then let me roll that again. You are that also was... on your horse, remember? Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, seven, first one's a 17 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Four. Wow, that was bad. For seven damage. Okay. Uh, second one will be... I'm just going to roll two d20s manually. No, I... Yes, I can. Do that. That didn't work at all. Um, I'm going to assume that's going to be the higher roll. It was a natural 19. I'll just do one more. Just get the 20. Nope. So 19 plus 7. Yeah, so that hits as well. Yep. yep. Uh, that'll be <clears throat> uh, 12 damage plus the superiority die, which is 1d8. So, uh, wow. So the second one is 20. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. 20 piercing. Damage. Okay. Well, that, that hurts. That's a, that's a thing that happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to cast magic missile at level three against Jordanus. Dang. All right. Um, but for whatever reason, it only rolls the one, so I, I know. always have to redo it. Uh, so I will roll my others. And um, Lunatari is in high sanction, so we'll add a D6 on the end of it. Holy macaroni. What's my D6? Uh, so the grand total is 20. Oh. Ah. Wow. I'd be dead. Okay. Jumpleton. That's it. Uh, I'm going to... 
Uh, I'll go ahead and cast my spiritual weapon uh, and just have it attack, I guess, Jordanus. The, is, is everyone ganging up on one person right now? Or was that two different targets? No, there has been one person. It was so one person. Okay, then I will keep ganging up on him. Uh, <laughs> and, the, and the spiritual weapon will attack him as its action, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, a 14. A 14 will hit. Oh, okay. And 11 damage. Okay. Okay, and can I tell if he looked like, uh, does he look beat up or does he look like he doesn't care that we're hitting him? combination uh, that was, he's laughing that was radiant damage okay he, he's laughing but he he looks bloodied okay then i'm going to use the uh, standard attack mace of disruption to try to hit him with the mace uh, okay oh no nah, i got an eight no that's gonna miss yes yeah, so that's a complete whiff uh, okay and then uh, i guess that's it all right. Yeah. One of the other knights um, comes forward and uh, going to go after Griffin um, with the sword. All right. I'm going to guess a 14 is not going to hit you. No. What about 16? Uh, nope. All right. Completely misses. Um, it is Tim's turn. Um, Anything in particular you want Tim to do? Does she have anything that specifically targets undeads? Oh, wait. She has the sparkly glitter that gives advantage on the next hit, right? Yep. Uh, she should use that. I think. Yeah. What about her, dear? How much of that does she have, though? Like an endless bag or a spell? It's a spell. Mm -hmm. It's a, a spell. spell. I don't know what level. Okay. I also don't know if it's a single target or if it's an area. Yeah, it's like one Yeah, I'm going to have to look it up. Terrible. Terrible. Because I was wondering if, like, throwing it on Jordanus is maybe not super important. <laughs> He's probably not gonna. Hey, getting know. one down is getting one down. That's true. That's so true. Focus fire. <laughs> and she says, "Flower, flower, flower." flower but glitter comes out instead. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? I'm trying fairy to pull it up. I, fairy, it's fairy fire, yeah. I was trying to pull it up because I was not ready for this fight so soon. Oh. <laughs> um, I, uh, each object, let's see. Uh, 20 foot Any cube, creature? cube. So. Yeah. Oh, dang. Nice. So, yeah. They get a deck save. Saving throw. Yeah. Oh, man. That was three 18s in a row. So, yep, it, they, they managed to uh, just kind of dodge out of the way of that. And Rowena. Okay, so since we're standing within range of that, like, close contact, I can't use my longbow, but I think I'm going to try my spear. Um, but... I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark on hit on uh, Jordanus first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oops. So rolling for Dan. Uh, to hit 17. 
We'll hit. Okay, that's four. And then an extra D6 for the hunter's mark. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? That's right. An extra four, so eight damage total. Very good. Okay. All right, anything else? Um, I think that's it. I think I'm probably going to tell uh, Fangs, the dog, to just be kind of on guard, but he's not going to do any action. Okay. Does she get second attack at level five? Oh, do I? Oh, you should, Shoot. yeah. Are you a ranger? Yeah, you're a ranger, right? Yes, yeah. I am. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, attack So I guess I'll make a second attack. <laughs> uh, the same, the spear. Okay. Second attack. 13. 13 misses. Okay. Okay. Um, Rowena. Will a 17 hit? Yes, unfortunately. Okay. The sword the sword connects and you feel this kind of necrotic force to it as it as it cuts in uh from one of the one of the other uh two knights and you are hit uh for seventeen damage. Ooh. Oh. oh man. Um I uh, Jordanus will <laughs> continues to laugh <laughs> and say, um, uh, I should properly introduce myself. My name is Caradoc. You'll probably be seeing more of me, but you have a choice right now. You can stop me or you can stop him. I'm just a distraction. And um, he will uh, he will come forward at Griffith uh, with the blade that's going to miss. Uh, the second attack is an 18, 18 to hit. Glances off my shield. Okay. All right. And then um, he whispers, uh, he, with, he, he looks uh, very, very quickly over to Zarath. And um, says, uh, watch out beside you. And give me a wisdom saving throw. Uh, me? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. It's DC 15. Um, okay. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, 13. Uh, 13. Uh, no. <laughs> Zeroth. <laughs> There's a draconian right beside you. You have one chance to hit it. Roll, roll attack. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, here we go with my plus one dagger. Twelve. Twelve. Rowena, does twelve hit? No. Okay. Oh, so Roth no. just came at you with a dagger all of a sudden. As soon as that happens, your eyes clear up and you realize that that, that was Rowena. And it is oh. your turn. Oh. <laughs> My turn? Yeah. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Um, dang, I'm going to be mad now, though. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, am I... <laughs> He's within five feet. Jordanus is not within five. When he yes. said that, can looking around like he did he indicate to anybody or anything that something about was, stopping him? Oh, oh, he was talking about stopping the guy next to me. That, right, that, that was actually where we were. That was uh, okay. Either. All right, that's actually how dense I am in real life. Okay, um, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to attack him uh, with sneak attack. Well. Yeah. Within five feet of a yes a foe, right? Okay. Uh, shoot. Fourteen. Does a fourteen hit? A fourteen does actually hit him. Holy mackerel! Uh, 
Okay. Um, and then so, uh, let's see. Uh, hello. Okay, I do an extra 3D6. Okay, let me do the damage for this first. I'm surprised that hit him. I'm so surprised. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, six damage, and then an extra an extra three d six. Um, okay. One, two, three. What is that? Three, four, five, six, another six damage, so 12 damage. Okay. And I'm gonna use my bonus action to disengage and get away, get to like a bush, try, try to hide. I'm just to disengage. I think I can only do it to disengage, actually. Okay. So I'm just gonna disengage and back up, try to get into range of a crossbow. At that, That's it. at that moment, like as you stab in, you see this ghostly, fo wispy form just jump out of the body. A completely different person. This one, um, uh, uh, this one's slighter, uh, with you know slick back hair and uh, a long face, and and it's laughing. And the knight, as as it's falling off, as he's falling down off the horse, go is going. It, where, where am I? Oh, no. The other two knights <laughs> just collapse off their horses, and the the ghostly figure of Caradoc says, um, "Just remember, me the distraction, or him. You can only pick one." And the ghost shoots over toward the castle. And by now there's like a, like a crowd that's, that's, that's crowding around. Like what in the world is happening? There's Knights of Salomnia yeah. trying to kill each other. And you see the ghost just drop into one of them. And that one kind of straightens his back and then turns around and starts walking toward the castle. Can I cast hold person on that one? Sure. Um, wisdom saving throw DC 14 so you have to roll yeah okay the person stops in his tracks as Caradoc slips out of him again and it's like oh come That's on perfect. I barely had three steps with that one <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's going to try it's coming back toward the party and Jimpleton if you can get me a mm -hmm. um, a charisma save DC 15 oh no I got a feeling this isn't your strong suit Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, oh. you resist him, and he's as he tries as he tries to enter you, and you and you you resist him back, and the, the ghostly forum just hovers back and in surprise. Um, you you y'all do have an opportunity to attack him now that he's uh, he's exposed. Do I Are recognize gonna... or know anything about what he might? Be, like what kind of entity i mean it seems like a ghost he's a ghost have i seen have i seen anything like this before in terms of his ability to possess or uh roll nature but who's the he he's oh that's a crit fail <laughs> it's um what's his name grognak here uh <laughs> griffin is looking at him going i think i fought one of these before I think this is. I'm pretty sure this is an orc. 
<laughs> Are we still going in turn order, or can we just like attack if we want to? Uh, yeah, everybody can take an attack if they'd like. Yeah, I'll try. Heck Sign. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a magic dagger. <laughs> now I know that Griffith doesn't know that his not magic weapon will not probably hurt this thing. Right. <laughs> Well, I'm going to cast Magic Missile again at third level. Okay. Roll that damage. Okay. Twenty. Whoa. Right. I can attack it too. Yeah, everybody can attack. Okay. Um, twenty-two. Twenty-two will definitely hit. hit. Yeah. Okay. You are attacking with the magic um, dagger, right? Yeah, six six damage plus sneak attacks. Does that work? Okay. Um, I don't know how to do sneak attack damage proficiently, but I'm just gonna roll. You can click the dice, the dice number, uh, multiple oh, times and roll cool. them all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I see you now. Okay. Seven plus seven. So six. So, so 13. All right. Karadok goes down onto the ground <clears throat> and he's like clutching his wound and he's like, no, <gasps> no. How could this have turned against me so quickly? Oh, cruel world. Oh, cruel <laughs> world. I'm going to stab am, at him with my lance. <laughs> I am undone. Oh, stop that. I'm giving a speech here. Just chill out for just a minute. I'll be done quickly. Oh. Oh. See, when I'm in this state, I can only be here for just a couple of minutes, and then I'll just disappear. Tell us what you know. Oh, yes. I'll tell you everything I know. I know. He's here. <laughs> and you Ooh. wasted your time with me. Ta ta, I'll see you soon. And he disappears. Uh, does he like instantly vanish or does it look like the ghost died? Uh it, it he just vanished. Mm. And then um, hey. you hear the bejesus being pu uh, pulled out of the bell. Well, that means there's something outside, right? Mm. Or above. Probably. Oh, it's Yeah, it's normally when they see him. Uh, everybody kind of goes into a panic at this point. I'm sorry, Jen, what was it? Oh, I was going to have him cast that spell again to see if we can find, but it, I think we found it. So. <laughs> you, um, we're waiting. Oh, Never mind. You're not a um, druid in this campaign. <laughs> Turn into a bird. See what's going on. Uh, never mind. Yeah, no, okay. we should go to the gate and we'll see. see. Well, yeah, see what's coming. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 gather up. Let's form up. Um, form up. Did the did their weapons, their sword, like the one they hit Rowena with? Uh, did they show as being? Well, let me see. Never mind, it doesn't tell me. Like the knights Those guys are still alive. Still alive, right? No, they're all dead. No, they died. So um no. uh the other two were already dead. Uh but um, they were still they being were, animated yeah. by ghost. Um okay. now um uh oh what's his name? Uh Jordanus. Uh Jordanus had been alive, but he had been possessed, but he is dead now. Hmm. Did we? Did had we heard of that other guy's name? Like, what's his name? Caradoc. Yeah, Caradoc. That sounded familiar. Roll history. It's gonna be a hard roll, but roll history. Okay. Ooh, can I also roll history? Yeah. Okay. Uh, seventeen. Okay. And I got a uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Can I? Can I try as well? Yeah. Sure. Because I do, that's like something that my character specializes in. Um, so I can add um, superiority dice specifically to history rolls. Okay. Uh, 
but I don't. No, got a thirteen total. Okay, Saria, <laughs> what you do know is that that you're not sure exactly what part he plays, but you have heard his name in connection with Lord Soth okay. from back during the Cataclysm. Okay. Lord Soth. Um, is human elf? Karadok is human. Did it? Okay. Uh, well, I'll yeah, use... Let's go see what the let's go see what the bell is for. Yeah. I'll use one cure wounds on Rowena. Thanks. Oh yeah, she needs it. She's down. Um, so you get 14 hit points back. Holy cow. Dang. There's the maximum roll, so. Nice. That is awesome. Yeah, she's, she's, she's a little slow. <laughs> yeah, minus three instead of minus 17. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so we're going to the, yeah, we're the direction to... of where we think this thing is happening. Southgate, I guess. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so uh, what's his name? Uh, Griffin made a good suggestion that we might look up too. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so you don't see anything um, upward. Uh, y'all, y'all roll perception though. Ooh, five. Thirteen. Fifteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Saria sees nothing. Everyone else sees everything. Uh, nice. <laughs> y'all are coming, like, as you're coming down the road, you do see some, like, guards coming uh, coming beside you. Um, but also toward the side, you see, um, uh, you see that renegade wizard, River, and she's kind of looking o- over in y'all's direction. Um, it's, funny that, it's funny that Saria doesn't see her. I know, it's great. <laughs> it's worked out well. <laughs> and Tim's going to be like, hey, Saria, it's your friend. <laughs> um, I guess we should ask her. Maybe she... Hey, hey, River. She'll hurry well, over Well, now I you. notice her. <laughs> yeah. She'll she'll hurry over to you and she and she says, um, the evil I talked about. There's there's soldiers outside, but he's in the catacombs now. Would you be willing to come with us? To, to stand by us what? as we show down <laughs> the ultimate showdown. You're in trouble. What are you doing? She's just a a peasant. Just for all we know. She's nuts. You're gonna get me in trouble. I'm gonna say what's what's a what's a catacombs? It, it, and nobody answers. Okay. It's where you bury <laughs> like, we don't have time for that. I can <laughs> I am not powerful enough to face this. Well, maybe oh, if you man. would go through the normal channels, then you could be able to practice your magic. Um, out in the open, and we don't have to worry about this. But that's just me. If you need a sponsor, Saria might sponsor you, help you get through the tests, and kind of mentor you. Why are we? Why are we? No. Why are we volunteering my time for this? Okay, like okay. And we don't have I've time trying, to be talking about. I've been about trying this. to tell yeah. the soldiers this. They won't listen. They're all worried about the those things out there. <laughs> Well, so you're saying you're still well, we can go. We we can run to, to the catacombs. There. Do would we How know do where know it is without there? her having to to take us? Yeah, good question. Uh, it's near the castle, and so she can give you directions for it. But how okay. do you know, yeah. River? Like, what, what did you go down there? Did you see it? Like, are you? I'm starting to think that this thing is everywhere you are. Are you a focus for this or something? Like, there's something weird going on here. Sorry. Can, maybe can can we, River? I respect you, but at the same time, you know where all the bad stuff is all the time. It makes me uneasy. Sorry, I want to inside check you, Zarath. 
you're cute but really dumb. And I kind of like guys like that. It's nothing against you. <laughs> Didn't sorry to tell us about can you, Paul. Can you I either help me convince the guards or go? Okay. All right. That was pretty winning. What you just said, I guess. <laughs> but how would she know this? Her scrying bowl was broken. I wonder whose fault that was. <laughs> I didn't tell anybody where you lived. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Well, oh my God, Zaroff. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna look over to Griffith and be like, "Well, let's go." <laughs> Griff, yeah, Griffin's, let's. Griffin's off his horse. Uh, I'm gonna grab. Uh, oh, oh, what was his? Poor dead guy. <clears throat> Jordanus' sure. sword, and uh, if there's any emblems of station or anything like on Nicholas and Guernier, uh like necklaces, you know, whatever, I'm gonna grab that off of them real quick. Yeah, so that I can let the order know that they're dead. If they get. Oh no! <clears throat> but uh, right, I'm guys, gonna take think... Jordanus' sword as well. Sorry. Yeah, I think we should go. I think we should probably hurry yeah. and we can deal with how shady I agree River is being later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, I got y'all's back. River, this is weird, but we'll talk again. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping your dagger, though, for now. What kind of um, sword did um Rodana have? I'm pulling it up right now. Okay, just because I'm probably for going to the catacombs, gonna need to ditch my lance. And my can, can I take a little bathroom break real quick? Yeah, I was yeah, I was about to go go to that. Um, but um, it is a uh, it is a plus one longsword. Awesome. And yeah. Um, yeah, let's uh let's do a break here as we're heading toward the catacombs. And um. We'll be right back. Okay, yeah, we are back. Welcome back. All right. Y'all come over, you know, kind of as everybody's scattering, you know, here. Soldiers are going out to the walls. People are heading out to their homes and and, and such. You know, uh, you're, you're kind of passing some of the uh, uh, street side merchants who are gathering their, their valuable stuff and trying to get away from their, their carts um, as quickly as possible as the bell is just still banging away. And you come across uh, around the way and to the entrance to the old catacombs. Now, this place is... You know, it has these stone doors in front of them. They are not used anymore. Well, I mean, I guess they're still used, but no one goes in it. They're, they don't put uh, people in there anymore, and they haven't for 300 years. This place hmm. is sealed off pretty much permanently. But there's two things you notice. One is that the doors are completely broken and they're uh they're 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 sitting on the sides at angles uh, with cracks running from the center and the second is a young woman entering as you come into view and give me um uh, uh give me perceptions I've got my visor down. I can't see anything. I rolled a one. Uh, 15. 13. 16. Okay. Um, Zeroth and Saria, you recognize that's Ladara. That's the Can you... elf from, uh, from Vogler, uh, who, the yeah. quiet elf in the corner who sang. Yeah. Uh, you have not oh, seen oh, her man. since Vogler. But she has gone inside. Wait, we were. She just disappeared inside. Yeah. Oh man, it well, brings back to go in. Yeah, it brings back to mind that her story that she was singing about the um, that uh, romance that went south. 
Uh, anyway, yeah. Starting to wonder about this undead guy. Wonder if it's that king or knight the knight, or yeah. the knight who. All right, yeah. I guess we go in. I mean, but why? Are... Why are the doors broken? Did he already come out? Does it look like something evil broke it? Do we know how? Yeah, can we look at the door? Like, can it look like something came out of it, or they're just broken? Just broken, broken. Um, uh, roll, roll a quick, uh, investigate. Um, who can I help? Yeah, I roll. Yeah, okay. Uh, I rolled a twenty. You're gonna help me, Loppy Joe. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, it's very clear with a, with a sloppy Joe that this was a force from the outside that hit <laughs> right in the center and just broke it uh, inward. Okay. And these these are these are stone doors. They are Holy they are cow. literally solid as a rock. How thick? Um, they are four inches thick. Oh, okay. All right, let's let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay. You enter, and uh, we are in roll twenty. Roll twenty oh, is not okay. extremely important, but um, uh, everybody uh, everybody started in there. It's dark in here. Um, so any any humans or uh if uh i think most of you are actually human um, um if i equip i think i'm the only one that's not a human yeah the mace of disruption it's a light source nice okay so he holds up the let, mace me, of let disruption. me make sure that's true mm-hmm. but i think it is um when you hold this weapon, it sheds a bright light in 20 feet and dim light for an additional 20 feet radius. Nice. Okay. So uh, with the Mesa Disruption, light fills this op- this first corridor. Um, the stairs descend into a stone cavern, and, uh, and in this light, you see four dignified statues of Knights of Salamnia. At the east end of the room lies an antechamber before a t- stone double door. There is a fifth statue depicting a bronze headed warrior in the antechamber. And um, so even without rolling, uh, Griffin, that, that is Kiri Jol- uh, Jolith, that statue. Uh, the the bison headed god Kerry Jolith. That is the god of honor and war. Will bow head in reverence. Um, Tim will lean over to Jimpleton and go, "Do we have to bow before the bison head guy?" No. You don't have to bow to anyone. Only the ones you think deserve it. Uh, so what did the bison head guy do to deserve it? Uh, you'll have to ask Griffith. I have no idea. Okay. Griffith. What did the bison guy <laughs> do to deserve to be bowed to? As t- Tim <laughs> comes over to ask me that, I'm walking up to it to go put the uh, necklaces of the uh, the two fallen uh, Knights of the Rose. Uh, put their emblems at the foot of the base of the thing. Mm. Are you just gonna not answer Tim's question? I think I think I'm not gonna <laughs> answer. <laughs> Question. Tim kind of looks at you and then and then backs up and bows and then takes off her necklace and puts it there. A noble gesture, little one. And uh and I'll rally uh Tim with uh 
Let's see. 1d8. Uh, 7 plus my charisma modifier, which is 2. So 9 temporary hit points. Oh, nice. And then you look back at the statue, and you see the sword is missing, and then you look back at Tim, and she's holding this giant bronze sword. <laughs> I, I really thought about I really seriously thought about think, saying she put down her necklace and then took one of the other ones back, but I was like, no, no, that is, that's too far. She just slide a hand and see if Griffin notices. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so before you are two, um, uh, a, 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 a wooden double door. Um, I'm going to try it. Can I see if it's locked? It's not locked. It's just heavy. Does it look like it's been opened yet? Yeah. Um, it, it, uh, roll investigate. I help. I have pretty good investigation. 16. Okay. Yeah, with with those, you do notice that the 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 dirt on the ground has been stirred uh, at this point at the door, and so yeah, somebody's recently been through here. Are we as a group? Are we trying to stealth? Are we trying to be quiet? It doesn't sound like we were already, but should we maybe start that and listen, see if we can hear anything before we open this? You can. Uh, by the way, Griffin, before I, I forget, uh, if you don't have inspiration, take inspiration for uh, oh. honoring the dead. Sweet. Uh, did you see when I just put that aura on? Were you looking? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that would be the light. Do you want me to have that or no? Sure, you can. Sure. Okay. I don't know if it like just makes it too ugly or something. Nah. Get the notes there. Yeah. Are, are you are you listening through the door? Yeah, I'm gonna listen at the door. Okay, it'd be perception. Nine. Uh, I can no. also listen at the door. I listen with a seventeen. Do I hear anything? No. Okay. Do we open the door? Man, I want a yoo-hoo. We should. This one is a strawberry. Oh, are those good? Oh, oh you were talking about the. I thought when you said you, I thought you were like yelling out at the door. You. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna we're gonna pull a credit and right, yes. to say hello. That's exactly oh, what hello. I was thinking. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's open it. I guess. All right. I'm going to push against it. Uh, Zeroth, you're not strong enough to push it on your own, but you think with help that you'd be able to get it open. Come on, guys. Let's I am, work together. I'm not the strong yeah. one. I step uh, back. Uh, step Whoever push. starts pushing, I have a spell cantrip guidance. Uh, a D4 to an ability check of its choice. I'll push on the door. Yeah. If, if two of you are pushing, you'll get it. It just needs two people. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A long chamber uh, is in front of you, and it goes further than your light does. Uh, to, mm -hmm. Or, or uh, actually, you're pretty far. No, no, it still goes further than your light. Um, I was just realizing how far that light is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, well, it's the light and then the dim light. The two circles, yeah. like bright and dim. The uh, mm. the alc uh, alc uh, the walls are lined with alcoves, and and each alcove um, uh, lies uh, bodies wrapped in yellow cloth. Um, roll perception. Ten. What the heck? I got twenty-two. 
Okay. Jimbleton, as you're walking by this first alcove, the one the one on your right, you notice that the wall behind it is not smooth. In fact, it is just torn up and recently at that. Um, it's uh, it, it looks like there was there was a pathway there that just kind of caved in on it. And so there's kind of just a pile of rubble that's halfway over this body. Does it look like it look um like somebody can crawl in it or is it too Not not at this um, point. Like you don't know what it looked like before, but uh, not at this point. It's all it's all caved in. Okay, so it looks like there was kind of a hidden passage that has collapsed. Right. I see. I'm going to just kind of touch the rocks and see if they're actually there. Yep. They are. Okay, well, there was a, a way through here, but looks like that way's closed. Hey, DM, I can't move my... Uh... I can't either. Yeah. Why? Why do you do this to me? I don't know. It is all your fault. I can, I can just do what I did yesterday and just like kind of put my own token out and then I'll be able to move it. Whoa. <laughs> Oh. Now there's two Sarias. But I, I can do that too. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you are attacked by Griffin and Saria right behind you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm going to cast Quick Save. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did it too late. <laughs> you cannot save during combat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've saved after the point when you're definitely going to die. Right. Yeah, your belt is like <laughs> one. Oh, man. So I'll move up to here so that it lights up uh, these little corridors up and down if we want to look in here. Um, yeah, I want to, like, knowing that I see that there at least was one hidden passageway. I would like to investigate these other alcoves. Yeah, go ahead. To the north and south and see if there's um, any of those there. Um, wow. I got a nine. Yeah. <laughs> that was a nat one. Okay. Anybody else? Uh. I'd like to check to see if any of these bodies have been, since we just fought undead, to see if they've been fooled with at all. Like, if there's any signs of ne necromantic tomfoolery going on around here. And, um, and no, no, the, the bodies seem intact and all. Uh, roll investigate, though. Okay. Ugh. Five. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna, um, can I, I'm going to actually go down this pathway a little ways. You can't, though. It's not, it's not open? No, it's... Oh. I thought it was... It's been collapsed. Uh, it's, it's collapsed, okay. Mm -hmm. And the um, rocks that collapsed it are real. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll, I'll investigate in, in here, too, I guess. Okay. Uh, uh, 17. All right, 17. So the bodies around here look um, normal. Uh, they are, they're clearly soldiers and they've been uh, buried with their weapons. They are centuries old and most of the swords and such, such are rusted. But this one is holding a bow that looks pristine. Which one? The one you're at. Oh. Okay. Um I'm gonna look back at Griffin <laughs> and see if he's watching me. <laughs> and I'm gonna uh slowly like just like look at it, kinda act like I'm inspecting it like out of curiosity, not with any intent to take. So I'm just gonna kinda look back at him and then I'm gonna look at the bow and like, Ooh. Do I do I notice? I, you know, roll, roll deception and, and perception if you'd like. 
Oh, I rolled an eleven. Uh, Seventeen. Right. <laughs> you okay? So, so uh, you do this thing where um, you're like looking back. It's like, oh yes, uh, these are so good. And he does. And then the you carefully, and... you carefully pull it, and and then you turn around, and like Griffith is like two inches away from your face, just glaring at you. <laughs> Scare me, Griffith. These tunnels are too dark for such maneuvers. Please, save it for All Hallows' Eve. <laughs> I think these are exceptional times. Call for uh, exceptional actions. I, I don't think the dead would mind. You don't. You're going to make surprise a little bit. Raise an eyebrow. I think it'll serve us better than it'll serve him for right now. Um, Maybe when not... things are all said and done, though, it would be good to return it. Oh, yes. For sure. Bring it right back. After and when he says it's, it's too dark in here, I'm going to say, actually, it's really bright right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, take a the, uh, plus one longbow. Okay, I'm going to um, I'm gonna actually give that to... Uh, I'm looking for crossbows, so I'm going to... Well, actually, I'm going to hold it. I will present that as a wow. later. <laughs> And I Actually, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> we might end up face. I wanted to make it like a thing, but I'm like, uh, Rowena, I found this longbow. Romantic, like that might be plus one. <laughs> this will make this will make, this, will, this will make up for me trying to kill I found you this earlier. On a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I tried to stab you. I just robbed this dead body for you. Here's a bow I found on a dead body. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I'm gonna present, present it to Rowena. I think she has proficiency with longbows or, or bows, right? Uh, okay, as, so as y'all are uh, are working on that, um, y'all go ahead and roll me one more perception. This is, I think this will be the last one. I'm gonna make you roll because we're getting a little high on perceptions right now. Uh, ten. ten. I'm getting out all my Five. bad rolls during the exploring mm -hmm. section of this uh, adventure. <laughs> Me too. I got a 16. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Gempleton, as you're moving ahead, you'd notice a pile of autumn leaves on top of one of the bodies. Let's call it this one? Sure. And as you okay. look closely, uh, uh, Tim's head pops up out of it. And you see that she's wearing a new cloak that it's made of autumn leaves. And, and say, Jimpleton, look at this cool new cloak. Unfortunately, if I wear this, then I can't wear the pirate uh, flag. But the pirate flag looks so good on you. Well, what are we going to do with the cloak? You should know. That looks great, too. I'm just saying the pirate flag, though. I think uh, if, you, if you prefer the pirate flag... The cloak might fit better on someone who likes the forest. Oh. Yeah. And I'll like glance meaningfully at Rowena. <laughs> Just getting all the crap. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I cannot and, have any more stuff. And, I think you prefer to trade as swamps. <laughs> and, she'll, and, and she'll take it off and she goes up to Saria and goes... I know you talk about the forest of Weyrith all the time and that you were there and you saw some fairies there. So I figure you like forest. Here you go. That's so nice. Thank you, Tim. Uh, is this, a, is this a, a magic item? Yes. By chance? Yes. This will require right. I, uh, attunement. I... And so um, it's probably not going to be okay. best for you because it's main thing is uh, advantage on a de on stealth checks, which you already have. <laughs> Okay. Um, with your with your thing, but mm -hmm. that's the first thing that Tim thought of when she thought of Forrest. Mm -hmm. That is so <laughs> nice. Um, but I think maybe we should present it to our friend uh, Zoroth because I think he like I think this color oh. looks good on him. Yeah, and Tim will take it back and hand it over to Zaroth and says, I know that you like hanging out in bushes while we're trying to fight people. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so maybe no. you can take the bush with you. No. <laughs> Tim, that's a I'm brilliant. <laughs> no, I never have to be ashamed of hiding in a bush because I own the bush. <laughs> 
I right. will accept the gift. So I'll add that to your char- character sheet. It's not going to do anything right now because it will require attunement, but that's a Kaganesti okay. okay. forest shroud. Oh, so nice. Cool. It's uh, elven made. Awesome. Boy, yeah, you be careful with that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look like through the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> Okay, so at that, you hear like this whoosh, and all of a sudden, it's it's like this wave of purple flame comes through, and it just it just kind of lingers along the cracks in the stone on the floor and uh, along the wall, and there's no heat coming off of it, but uh, you see just through you know through this hallway and it continues back all the way to the to the front the um these small purple flames pop up everywhere and cast this uh purple purple glow over everything uh so does that mean that it's light everywhere now it's light everywhere now okay then i'll turn this off um, can I do like an arcana check to see if I can figure out what kind of magic this is? Yeah. Or if it's magic, I assume it's magic. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. 27. Nice. It's most definitely magic. You you think that this is um uh there's a lot of power in in this flame. And uh, it's not something that you've seen before, but you can you can feel it, and it's it's necromatic power. And as you're realizing that, you start you start seeing movement in the bodies around you, and they still seem trapped by their wraps, but they're just starting to shift uh, oh, back no. and forth. You don't think that they're going to be able to get out, but uh, at at the rate they're going, but well, still, I think we should. I think we should uh, keep moving before they manage to figure out how to get out of their bindings. We should call our heads off, (laughs) but or move. Yeah, that's a good way to just keep moving. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. Um, as you head, uh, the the corridor turns to the south, and there's an open stone door there into the next room. Am I able to uh, have a spell prepared in the way that you would hold an attack during combat, so that if something happens and you cast the spell, even though it's not your turn? Um, like a yes, it, it would have to be a specific trigger for it. Um, I guess I want to be ready to cast Beacon of Hope on the party if we see uh, either, like, uh, I guess I'll just say to make it specific, uh, they said they saw the, the singing elf lady. Um so if I see her or someone that looks like like her, uh, then I would cast Beacon of Hope on the party. Okay. All right. But I'll just have that ready, and then if I end up casting something else, then I will unready it. Um. that word. As you come into the next room. I mean, yeah. The uh. There's mosaics of knights riding armored stallions covering covering the walls of this room. The you see the, still see the violet flames coming up from the cracks and as Tim comes up to one of the walls, the flame coalesces into a figure. It's a kinder. It's a it's a female kinder holding out a hoop pack. And Tim smiles and goes, "Mom, Oh, no. I and, grabbed Tim like the back of her like collar and just like pulled her away from this 
obviously creepy figure. No, no, that's okay. It's my mom. I remember that day. I continue to... Why don't you tell me about that day over here? She... Do, do we is... also see a kinder on the wall? Yeah. Yeah, you all see... Okay. It's like kinder. And she's she's smiling in this, in this purple flame and holding out a hoop pack and said, um, no, that was my mom. It was the day that she gave me um, what she thought was my first hoop pack. Now, of course, I'd had many before that, but she didn't know about them um, because I had always found them, uh, you know, dropped somewhere. You know, travelers are dropping everything all the time. <laughs> As they sleep. Nice story. <laughs> uh, that's... That's not your mom. That's that's magic necro flames. <laughs> so let's not touch it. Uh, Griffith, as you're walking around, another another uh, pillar of flame comes up and recreates in purple flame an important moment in your life. Just a scene. What does it show? Hmm. I think uh, it's showing the moment that he got knighted and uh, his family's there. They look proud. Okay. Nice. Zarath, what about you? Um, it's a sad moment. It's a moment that I, I guess I'm, I'm seeing... In fact, my expulsion from the family and uh, being cast out to the, yeah, into my current lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Jibbleton? There's, uh, I'm at my mission, and this is after everyone left, and so I'm uh, living there by myself. Um, and there is a black-robed wizard performing surgery on my sheepdog. And it's uh, not just surgery. He's also using necromantic magic to heal the dog uh, because it had rabies. Okay. Sorry. Um, forget this person's name, but uh, the ex-lover that turned into a minotaur that I fought in the um, yes, yes, the yes. test. Oh shoot! What was his this name? Is... Where? No, oh, I don't. I can't. I'm like looking through my notes. Wilkes. Like, what was his name? Wilkes. Where's Wilkes? Um, gosh. Bacard, yeah. yeah. I just listened to this. This is the. This, <laughs> these are the episodes that are being right. aired. Um, I don't remember his name either. Oh, so he doesn't remember. Sad um, day. I, I don't think I wrote it down. I have my notes from the test up. <laughs> I don't, but I don't think I wrote Everybody down his name. Everybody, listen to the current, <laughs> like, like actually the most current episode <laughs> of of uh, the Thorns of War. Uh, that was mentioned in that episode, and it will be again either this next week, this week, or the following episode. Well, whatever his name was, this is, this is, we're breaking up. This is the moment that I broke up with, oh, what's his face? <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> All right, Rowena. I think it's going to be a, like, one of my first memories, like, before my mom left, uh, we're picking apples in the apple orchard, but I'm, like, really little, like, three or four so I don't even really remember what she looks like. It's just like a figure. Hmm. As you look further down the hall, there's another image there. This one of Anita Salomnia. His yeah, clearly just being just finished a battle. You know, he's kind of roughed up. He has his sword out. You know, purple flames are dripping off of it like blood. And he's holding a an elf elfish woman in his left in his left arm, like he's protecting her. And you see a cluster of other elves behind him. Yeah, keep going. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> I like thought it was gonna do something. Yeah, no, yeah, we can. Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the party and like, do, 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 do we know that they? Can we tell if they spotted us or are we? We we seem to be unnoticed so far. These 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 images don't these... don't move. They're static. They're just images. Yeah. yeah. Is this on a wall or in the middle of the room? They're um, they're scattered around, and so some okay. are like against the wall, some are uh, toward the middle. Gotcha. And where's the other figure? Uh, farther, uh, uh, just like a, a a little bit farther down, like right here on the map. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, Let's step a little guess, closer. Yeah. You um. Mm. You notice here Careful. that the uh. The, the door in front of you is just smashed, the stone just kind of scattered at your feet. There's. Is that. This yeah. or is that like one of the? Okay. No, no, it's this one. There's uh, to the south. There's another another one of those places where the wall has just been ripped open and and is now uh, just crumbling with with dirt and loose loose stones. It's like is there like stuff settling around it? Does it seem like it was smashed recently? Or... Yeah, like yeah, like the the dirt is still sliding, and you hear the okay. of, of little stones yeah. that fall off and yeah. uh, hit. Can we fit through this one? No, no. You, you'd have to you'd have to kind of dig out the the, the, the sediment here. Right. Okay. I think I'm getting more and more uneasy. I'm gonna draw my sword. Yeah, I'm gonna be off guard to... too. I think. Um, can I investigate the this rubble area to see if I sense if there's anything I can. Any information I can get about what did that or. Yeah, go ahead and investigate. Uh, 25. Nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah. You, whatever it was, whether it was magical or physical, it was extremely powerful. And you think they just, uh, whatever it was, just through sheer force, blasted a, 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 a passage through the wall. Cool, kind of, cool, cool. Kind of um, on instinct, you, you start looking to your right because it's like, uh -huh. oh, I kind of, I kind of know where we are and... And just past the door, you see the same thing has happened, and you realize they went through whatever it was went they through through Whoa. the rock. So they just took a shortcut. Took a shortcut, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Let's keep walking and I'll, towards and I'll it. I'll say, well, we've heard of as the crow flies, and now we have as the powerful creature walks. <laughs> Oh. As the trimmer digs, as the, yeah, as the ghost walks, I guess. <laughs> All right. All right. As you come into this, so are, what's up? Yeah, no, I was gonna just, I was gonna do ask for perception. I was gonna say, do we hear anything before we get in there? But that's good. No, 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 no. no we're no. walking. We're yeah. Uh, I, I've already I've already met my quota. Uh, Y'all don't like most people don't know this. The dungeon master guide uh, specifically says you're only allowed to have so many perception rolls in a session. I've already burnt mom mine, so what? I can't. <laughs> I made that up. No. <laughs> Excuse. I just get tired of asking for perception rolls after a while, and so we're not going to do it anymore. Y'all y'all are perceiving things. We just. We just... <laughs> All right. Um. This, uh, this very long, long corridor is uh, shows uh, also mosaics of knights riding, riding their their uh, uh, their stallions, 
the 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 you see the violet flame um, coming up, and as you see another scene that's over toward the far end that has popped up, and as you're glancing at that, you see that there are the skeletons of two great war horses that have been standed up on the far side of the room, wearing their full pre-cataclysm Salomnic armor. Um, this is, you know, just truly magnificent uh, workmanship and, and obviously a very high honor for these two horses. And then you notice they're moving. Mm-hmm. I was just going to ask if they're wiggling. Dang it. Mm-hmm. And they, and they, they charge, but only for 20, 25 feet. And then they, they slow down and they start walking slowly, calmly toward Griffith. I'll, uh, recall something that my, uh, the knight who trained me said about his horse said, and I'll say it out loud. He is pure fire, air and fire. And the dull elements of earth and water never appear in him, but only in patient stillness while his rider mounts him. And I'll walk a little bit slowly forward towards the horse. The two horses come up to you and, and they, they both bow their heads towards you. And then in a flash of light, they disappear and you hear the clink as uh, two uh, two horse figures clatter to the ground. And these are uh, Zaryev and Steelwind, two very great pre-cataclysm war horses that rode with the Knights of Salamnia. And they can be each summoned uh, for you once a day. Whoa. And and they last for 12 hours. Nice. And uh, and when you summon them, they they will come in full armor, 18 AC. They both show up or he picks one? Uh, you, can, you can do both or one. Okay. There's, there's two figures, so yeah. you can summon both. Wow. That's rad. I'll take whichever one. I, one of them, I'm assuming I regarded and I have a higher regard for in the history or whatever. So I'll take one of them and I'll uh, the other one and turn around to the group and I only have need of one horse. <laughs> Tim Tim goes, well, I have need of multiple ones. So <laughs> <laughs> do you think I could fit on top of a war horse? I think this beast may be too much for you to master, Tim. But uh, you may ride with me whenever you like. Tim Tim likes that a lot. And when, when he says that, like, you may ride with me whenever you like, I'm just going to go like this. <laughs> <laughs> And on forehead, like, do you know what you just said? <laughs> and then, like, while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna like realize, like, oh, that means Tim won't be riding on my horse, and then I'll I'll perk back up. <laughs> <laughs> Moving forward, yeah, okay, all right. So you get to to, to the end of the room where this other uh, flame figure had been. And you see a figure that same night and that same elfish woman. And they're getting married. And you see an image of the same uh, elfish women in the background from the other one, in the background of this one too, watching them. Do either of them look like the... Uh... Uh, the lady from Vogler. Yeah, it's Ladara. 
Um, Just watching. Roll investigation. <clears throat> Five. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Nineteen. Nine. Nineteen. Okay, so my so my spell does not go off. <laughs> <laughs> the um uh the uh one of the one one of the one of the other elves, one of the background elves does seem like her. Hmm. I will uh tap on Jimpleton's shoulder and point her out. Oh. Um. Okay. Well, when I see her, like, oh, wow. And then I'm going to cast Beacon of Hope on everyone. <laughs> because I had it prepared for this moment. <laughs> Not quite the way I had intended, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, it lasts a minute. Let's see, where is it? Oh. Right there. Um, so, you know, for a minute, we all have advantage in wisdom saving throws and death saving throws, and any healing magic restores the maximum number of hit points that it can. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. And when I cast the spell, I'm like, oh, whoa, oh. Well, we should get into combat right now. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should hurry. <laughs> All okay, right. I'm gonna take that cue. Uh, there's two doors to the south. They they're they're gonna lead to the same place. They are stone doors, and um, while lighter than the first ones, it 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 helps to have both. Uh, you know, two of you pushing. Um, to open it up, you've you've reached a. A square corridor with a, um, a another exit uh, to the east, but a number of a, a number of crypts along the wall. Like like everywhere else, the bodies inside these crypts are struggling, not struggling mightily, but they're moving. Yeah. The purple flame dances along the path along the sides here as well yeah I don't think we should linger here no 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 let's keep going Griffin and I will push this door or try to okay as you get to the he's next to me yeah as you get to the other side of the square you do see another another figure in in purple uh, in purple flame but this one has a real person kneeling in front of it looking at it and you recognize Ladara this is inside the square room right yeah so yeah it's on the south side of the of the square so like right here mm-hmm I want to see if she's humming like, can I hear her humming? Um, she's not. Okay. Is she disturbed by us all, like, Just, coming around the corner? Uh, yeah, no, You're right. No, she's not. The, the, the scene that she's looking at is that same night. But his bride is not with him at this time. He's sitting in front of, the, of a campfire, and the, the elfish women are behind him whispering things to him. Mm. Uh, um, I will walk up to her and like kind of kneel next to her and just say, um, "Can I have your real name?" It is Ladara. I see. And how old are you, Ladara? Oh, four hundred or so. That's what I figured. Are you here to get in our way? No. I, um, huh? I had hoped that I could draw you in 
before the flame was unleashed. Um, I did not. I fear that he's gotten too powerful for any of us now. Who? What? She'll point to the knight. Oh, I should. She'll point to the knight in, in the image. Him, Lauren Soth. Lauren, what's the L O R E N? Okay. Are you gonna make fun of him for having a girl's name? Because he's that's gonna make him mad. <laughs> no, I asked because it almost sounded like you said Lord with like a weird accent. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Lauren. Lord. <laughs> yeah. Do I know this character? Do I know who that is? Uh, Lord Soth. Um. You've heard you've heard heard at least some of about him in episodes months ago, <laughs> but um, <laughs> so this was a uh, this was a cataclysm era knight who was regard he was a knight of the rose and he was regarded as one of the strongest knights. He um, he came home one day with uh, an elfish princess a priestess the paladine that he had fallen in love with while protecting her from ogres on the road and the trouble was he was already married and his wife mysteriously died while he was on his way back with his new bride the knights uh the knight suspecting the worst wanted to investigate and he he withdrew and they besieged his castle Dargard Keep um, this very keep here in Nightland they um, his wife his new wife discovered what he probably had done and she prayed for his redemption. He, um, Paladine answered her and gave Lord Soth one chance to redeem himself. This was, as I said, cataclysm error. And he was to deliver a warning to the king priest of Istar. And he was told... If you go on this quest, you will lose your life, but you will gain your soul. And so he was willing. And so he started going. But on the way, he was met by certain elfish women who were trying to um, uh, uh, trying to, to ruin him. And they started... Uh, they, they started deceiving him that his wife was being unfaithful to him uh, instead of, um, you know, being faithful back at home and, and, and literally praying for him as what, as what she was doing. Mm -hmm. He became jealous. And instead of going to the king priest of Istar, he went home. He confronted his wife who was carrying their newborn child in the entrance to Dargard Keep. And right at that moment, the cataclysm hit and the castle started falling apart. A chandelier broke off and landed on his wife and son. And they begged for his help. And in his anger, he turned around and walked away. The gods cursed him that day to forever roam as undead. Mm -hmm. um, so did Lauren just tell us that story? Ladara? Yeah, we can uh she can oh, she yeah, can tell sure. you the whole story. And she'll point okay. to one of the women that's whispering to him and say, That is me. 
I hate him. I hate him. For when he was cursed, we were too for our meddling. We kept him in Dargard for three hundred years. Until that dragon high lord, Kitiara, came and drew him out. And she'll look to you and say, that is why I want you to stop him. Drive him back to his home where he can suffer like he deserves. I'm confused about where Dargard is. Dargard. Let's see if I still have my map on the stream. Ba, 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 ba. Yes, I do. All right. Let's move around the map. Okay. Now, I'm going to center us right in the bay. That's Kalaman. All right, if y'all see on the stream, where, where are we looking? Mm -hmm. Right in the center of the of what, what I've positioned. Twitch TV slash Techno Funk Boy. <laughs> right. Yes. That's, that's where he has the map. Yeah. Uh, God, thank you so much. When we get rid of the map, we'll do some chocobos. Okay, I was trying to get to the map. <laughs> you accidentally subscribed when you were trying to get to the map. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> okay, you can. How do I how do I get to the map though? It's on stream. I have chat only on. Okay, oh well, on. that's a problem. All right. Does everybody else see it right in the very center of the screen? Right yes. on the bay, on the south side of the bay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so this I'm moving Vogler just to orient ourselves. Vogler's a little bit farther mm -hmm. down the river. It's the tiny town on the north side of the river. Yeah. Okay. Now, if we go south to the mountains, I'm trying to get to as, as close to the center of the screen as I can. But this castle right uh, toward the center of the screen, where the screen is right now, right, right at the mountains. That is Dargard. Mm -hmm. um, the edge of the world. Okay. Is Kalamon the name of the area or the name of the city we're currently in? Kalamon is the name of the city. The area is Nightland. Okay. All right. And Dargard and Kalamon are both a part of Nightland. Right. Mm. Okay, I understand now. And that's and that's all part of Salamnia, but Salamnia is very very large, and it's it's more mostly localized governments, and so Kalaman rules Nightland. All right, now I'm going to ask her. Now that we have the chat uh, done, if we can get some chocobos in the chat for Brokanu, thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. What are we going to say? Oh my gosh! I'm why just is gonna say, on? I want to ask her why sh they were meddling, and hit, like, why do they? What reason do they have to meddle? Were they related to the, his other wife, or because he did not deserve the second chance? Uh, we did not mean. We did not mean her for a friend to die. We did not mean for the boy mm -hmm. to die. We did not know that the cataclysm was coming. He, he murdered a woman just because he wanted to sleep with another woman. Yeah, he rough. was going to do the same thing to her. Um, uh, wasn't he going to do his quest to sacrifice himself? 
Yes, he was. So if you had let him do that, then he couldn't have killed the new woman. You just got outsmarted by Jim Fulton. I, yes, I we, we I, I do realize that it was. We all we all agree it was a mistake, but you asked me why, and that is why. Ah, oh, okay. I'm going to uh, start praying. Yeah. There is. So let me tell you more about this place. Because I do think there's one chance. This flame here, this is the flame of the cataclysm. It was part of it was contained here to honor Sarlamar, the Sarlamir who was, who was buried here. Well, if they'd known half of what I know about him, they wouldn't have buried him here. I can tell you that. He also was called upon by Paladine. The king priest was to the north of here and he was creating well there's only one way to to describe it a floating city with his resources and magic with his power he was foolish enough to think that he could do it and he could the the good dragons the metallic dragons they were upset about this. And Paladine called upon Sarlamir to go there to convince the king priest to stop his workings so that the dragons would be appeased. He went. There was a... It got heated. the king priest would not back down from his plans. And the gold dragon, Caravarix, uh, Caravarix, would not back down either. Sarlamir attacked the gold dragon with the dragon lance. The weapon withered and in his hands. It rusted immediately on such blasphemy. The weapon is with him. Take it. Soth has already gained the power of the flame of the cataclysm. With that, with that uh, flame, he is undoubtedly going to head toward the city of lost names to try to revive the King Priest project. Take the Dragon Lance. It may be of use. You're telling me that after less than a year, we get the Dragon Lance. And in <laughs> Dragon Lance Part 1, we're on like year four. You'll have a part of a Dragon <laughs> Lance in that one. Dragon Lance. You have a Dragon Lance in that one. It just took, it took a couple of years. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna. Ask, Lansky? Okay, never mind. <laughs> what's this lady's name? Um, I already forgot again. Ladara. Ladara. So, do you think now that uh, this this uh, and the other guy's name, the evil guy who killed his wife, Soth? Um, do you think now, Ladara, that uh, Soth? before his second betrayal, uh, deserved a second chance? No. So you would still have meddled with him? The, uh, after, after he killed his first wife? Yes. 
<laughs> and then I'm going to say no more pizza for you, and I will turn my back on her. <laughs> Jimbleton has judged you. <laughs> he wouldn't be the first one. I have a question for you. We've been seeing this purple light, and I think as you see it now, like, what is this coming from? What is the source of this? Why is this happening here and now? And we heard rumors from above that there was an undead monstrosity down here. What is your connection with all this? What do you know? Okay, we're rewriting the podcast on everything I just said. <laughs> okay, very quickly. Purple flame okay. is the flame of the cataclysm. Yes. The undead monstrosity is Lord Soth. Right. Have you seen that? I guess I'm asking is... But they're actually here. They're here. Lord like, Soth right is... Right now. Lord Soth may be gone now. He has taken... It, the flame is what he was after. Um, but it's still here. Well, he so released it. So the way it. fireworks is... Oh, okay. <laughs> he released it. He's taken part of it. Uh -huh. The flame, flame of the cataclysm is not easily contained in one's place. It's reflective mm -hmm. of... It's reflective of the people. It's around. Which is yeah. probably why it was okay. so destructive on Istar. Um, I would, though, like to go deeper in and look at the purple flame. Yeah, I'm scared, but I want to push in. Is this door open? Did I just pass through? Um... Yeah, y'all are able to push through the doors. Uh, in the, in the next uh, in the next room, you um, uh, again. Uh, ooh, there's violet ooh. flames everywhere. The um, the uh, I'm trying to see. Where? Uh, oh, I'm in the wrong room. I'm sorry. Sorry, we'll edit that out of the podcast. <laughs> um, there's uh, a statue in the next room of a saluting Knight of Salamnia, along with uh, two tall me uh, marble slabs. Um, everything, everything here, even the statue is 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 just crackling with this this purple flame. There's double doors. Then, uh, from that point. Uh, going into, um, going into the Hall of Honor. It's getting stronger. Uh, before I leave uh, the room, I'm not going to look at Ladara. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to say, um, maybe someday you'll have compassion for. Lord Soth's choices. And when that happens, perhaps you'll have compassion for yourself. And then I'll walk through the door. Ooh. Zinger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jimbleton, I understand your judgment, but Lord Soth is kind of a bad guy. He is now. Um, sorry, it's you just went in there. It's not her fault that he made bad decisions. He didn't have to go back home. We'll just, but we can have this conversation later. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a, I just don't want to die down here. <laughs> okay. All right, um, final room? My, yeah. I'm, I'm going to kind of like go straight towards this flame because um, my immediate concern is to, see if there's anything that can be done to contain it again. Like, I, I understand th that I've been told that Lord Soth has taken some of it, but it's 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 making all the corpses wiggle. <laughs> so, and I don't like that. 
Um, and so I want to kind of circle this area, like this, where clearly the flame is coming from, and and see if I can figure out a way to um, to contain it, or if there's anything I can do now. Um, so yeah, so there's this, um, in the center of the room, there's this brazier that had been, uh, that been kind of knocked over and it's, uh, you know, the flames are just kind of spilling out of it. The, again, this, this, the, it's producing zero heat, uh, out of here. And so, uh, you, you, you were able to kind of pick it up and, uh, start straightening it up and, the uh the the magic of the brazier kind of reasserts itself and the purple flames um uh, uh, around the room start to uh, start to die down and start to flicker out one by one the uh, the only purple flame that remains active is up at the front of the room where there's this raised dais and a, um, a, a a body on the slab and around uh, around this uh, this slab is just an intricately carved dragon that is circling it and seemingly guarding it but there is a purple flame that's still going on uh, uh, on there um I I would like to walk up to the dais and and take a closer look the uh, the body there uh, dressed in rusting uh, armor Knight of Salomnia armor uh, is there and um, it, you know the, the flesh is long rotted away leaving only a skeleton but the, the skeleton's head is um, in, engulfed in, pu in purple flame and it, um, as you, as you lean over to it, you feel a small hand on your shoulder from behind and you kind of jump and you look around and, and Tim is like, like leaning into you to look and it's like, wow, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, do you see a dragon lance anywhere? Um, and as you say that, the skeleton will say, well, let me get out of the way then. And it will start standing up. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. <laughs> he'll, uh, I'll back up off the dais. <laughs> he'll... He'll uh, he'll regard you um, for a minute and say, "Hey, no, you're too late. You've stopped, you know, the rest of them from raising, but he already touched me with the flame. I have no orders to kill you today, but I very likely will at some point." Well, I could kill you now and avoid that problem in the future. What do you think about that? <laughs> I like you. And he'll draw out <laughs> his sword and it's, 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 you know, flaming and purple flame as well. And let's roll initiative. Ba -ba 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 Okay, who has Seven. 15 or over? No one 15 or over? No one? Oh. It's not bode well. Okay. Um, uh, uh, 10 or over? 12. 12? 11. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Um, five? Uh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I got uh, 14. So I do have 10, between 10 and 15. Okay, I'm looking different, like, because uh, my camera's over here, and, I, and I'm, but I'm glaring at you. I know. I, I know. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, five or above? Seven. Who are we missing? Holy I rolled a three. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's what exactly where a cleric should be rolling. I don't know how you got a 20 before. Because I rolled a 20. <laughs> it's plus zero. <laughs> okay. Tim goes first. Oh, nice. Good, good thing I Sparkle. gave him temporary hit points. <laughs> okay. He, he, he's like, that's awesome. Here, I can do purple. I can do purple lights to match, and he'll uh, uh, cast a spell, and it does fail. And uh, he does fail the the um, the save, and so it does succeed. And so dancing lights are around him, matching the sword, and um, and the knight just kind of droops, you know, kind of droops circle. Oh, come on! <laughs> All right, fine. Sorry, you're up. All right. Um, let's start out with um, mirror image. So, hang on, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Uh, I have so I have uh, three illusory duplicates of myself that uh, that appear. Um, okay. And that's my action. Yeah. All right, Rowena. I hope Griffith's coming yeah. back because he's next. <laughs> Let's see. I am going to from the door. I'm still standing in the doorway. Um. I'm going to try to shoot him with the longbow. Okay. My longbow. Yeah, th and that's plus a plus one. one. Your plus one greaves. Yeah, so... Um, okay. Uh, add, add for your... Uh, yeah, for your plus one, because I know we haven't added... Well, I haven't added to the character, yeah. so you may have. I haven't yet. Is that uh, good for hit, the, hit, the, the hit? So that's a 14 to hit. Do you get that for the uh, bracers, too? Don't you have plus one bracers? Yeah. Guess. So it would be 15? It's, that's not going to hit still. No. Okay. okay. But is, that how, is that how that works? Sorry. Yeah, I think so. I can't remember what the braces were, but yeah, I think she's got a plus one on each one, so it'd be total plus two. All right, Griffin? Oh, I'm sorry. Was there anything else, um, Rowena? No, that's okay. it. All right. Uh, well, as uh, his conversation with <laughs> with uh, Saria is wrapping up, he, the unmistakable shuffling footsteps of an armored knight running up from behind, and I'm gonna I just swing twice with my long sword. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I do. A twelve to hit. No. Okay. Second attack, a 23 to hit. Oh, yeah. All right, and I'm doing this with one hand. Um, I think, yeah, I am going to do this. Uh, this is going to be a fainting attack, which will give me advantage on my next attack. Um, oh, no, that's not right. Why were there two rolls? It does that sometimes. Did, you use, did anyone okay, use Tim Sparkles? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we did forget that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you want to make both of those rolls your first attack because you'll have advantage on each? Um, sure. Okay, yeah. So, wait, how would I do that? Oh, okay, so that's just both of those rolls are my first attack at advantage. Okay, right. sure. So, uh... 
That's 10 plus the superiority die um, is 16 okay. uh, points of slashing damage. Uh, and then I will go again. I'll roll two 20s because I'm going to be hitting at advantage this time. 25. It's so weird. It's like rolling two dice, but they're wrong. But then it's giving me the result as normal. Uh, that's another 10. Okay. Uh, plus 1d8. Uh, so that's 17. I am going to action, action surge and attack two more times. Did anybody else wanted to fight this one? <laughs> uh, that's a 12. Uh, roll, roll with advantage to hit. Uh, of the, uh, oh, uh, because the dancing lights fly. just keep it going. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I'll just do that one again. Uh, fourteen to hit. Nope. And second one. Uh, and this is going to be a my last superiority dice. It's going to be a um distracting strike, which will give the next person attacking advantage. Oh, I don't need to do that because hmm, I'm not going to add the uh, cause it's, it's already out of advantage. Okay. Our calls. That's right. So that's a 23 to hit. Yep. Um, and eight damage. And nicely, nicely played that round. Um, he he will he will even say, I was like goodness, I'm glad they still train the knights well." <sighs> Only when we're fighting traitors and cowards. Ooh, Gosh, that was insane. harsh. Uh, Zeroth. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna throw my da- throw a couple daggers at him. I'm not gonna throw my plus one dagger. I throw my two That's... regular daggers. Cool. So. <laughs> Is anybody in melee with him? Me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. I'm right, right? Um, this guy's a traitor and a coward, right? Is this... Oh, yeah. yeah. Tips. Oh, yeah. Traitor, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't think a coward, okay. but yeah. Well, sure. He did try to kill a gold dragon, so that takes okay. him out of coward territory, but definitely okay. that's yeah. not yeah. good. <laughs> okay. Well, he, he might think that all traitors are inherently cowards. That's, uh, that's fair. Okay, I miss thirteen, twelve, right? Miss. Yeah. Was, I mean, that, that, I mean, well, thirteen was my highest of my first batch. Dang. Missed. Um, didn't you? Missed. I thought you Pretty grabbed big. crossbows. I, I I wanted to, but I never said I did. We just no. We I thought you did when you came yet. back. That was my plan, but we we just came back right after a battle, and okay, I didn't role play it out. I'm fine to wait. I'm fine. To All wait. right. Do it's it fun, this next time. To not have them. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. when we when we got to the stables, we got off our horses, and then it was like, oh no, get wild. back on your horses and yeah. go. Yeah, that's true. It was wild. So, so this is fine for me. I did not expect this in combat, you know. So, <laughs> but yeah, I threw some two daggers. Now I can't. So now I'm down to one dagger. Um, that's it. That's all I did. Okay. That's all I could do. All right. Um, they uh. Uh, the knight, uh, you know, with his flaming head and flaming uh, sword, said, um, uh, "I did promise a fight to you, didn't I, Red Robes?" Ooh. And uh, if you can hit me, <laughs> oh. Oh. he's gonna swing. Uh, 20 to hit. I mean, that'll hit. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Do you remember how to do this with the duplicates? Um, each time a creature targets you, roll a d20 to determine whether the attack instead targets one of your duplicates. Um, for three remaining, I need to roll a six or higher. And that's a 15, so okay. he targets one of my duplicates. All right. 
Do they have hit points where they just blink out? Um, no. It, once they get hit, they they vanish. Okay. He he swings again. Does the the um. The, the flaming sword just art like arcing light across the room with an 18 to hit. Um, 18. Well, so I'm going to cast shield. So 18 will not hit. All right. And, um, when I cast it, uh, so I have something called an arcane ward. So the first time I cast an abjuration spell, which shield is, um, a magical ward uh, on myself gets cast, and it has 17 temporary hit points. Oh, nice. Okay. And so... in certain circumstances, I can share it with others as a reaction, but they have to be close to me. So right the, now, it's just me. <laughs> the, the flame just hits this, you know, this this uh, this this arcane shield, and and it like stops suddenly in midair and throws off sparks and the sparks just bounce off the shield over to the side. And, and he, he says clever and then, um, backs up his sword and thrust for a 22. Uh, that will hit. And so we're going to roll to see if it hits one of my duplicates with let's see. Okay, with two left, I need an eight. And I rolled a four. Oh. Uh, so I will I will take that one. <laughs> okay, it, the blade sinks in and just um, uh, flares up or, or around you as you take 15 necrotic damage. Right. And that will oh, come wow. from my temp hit points. Okay, Templeton. Uh, I'm going to cast Beacon of Hope uh, okay. to give everyone advantage on their will saves and death saving throws. And then if anyone, if I heal anyone in subsequent rounds, then they'll gain, I don't have to roll it. They just get the maximum. Okay. Um, can I cast, well, let me see. No, I think um, that I guess that's all I'm gonna do. I want to save my second level spell slot. I'll move a little, but not into the melee. All right. Uh, uh, Tim's turn. And um, uh, she'll say. Um, uh, do you think that if I hit it in the head, the rock will catch fire too? And she'll put a rock <laughs> into into the hoop pack and shoot it, and it and it misses and it bounces kind of uh, over, over into the corner of the tomb. And she's like, "Oh, if somebody else can hit her, can it hit him with a rock in the head just to see if it catches fire?" <laughs> Sorry, it is your turn. All right, I'm going to cast um, a Ganazar's Scorcher. Ooh. So he will need to make a Dexterity saving throw, score to beat a 16. Oh, 15. He takes mm. uh, 12... Uh, Fire damage, and then I don't remember what I get for new Atari. Uh, extra D6. Okay. So 12 plus 1. He takes 13 fire damage. All right. And he is bloody. Um, and is he, in melee? is he in melee range with me? He was hitting me yes. earlier. Yes, he is. All right. I'm, I'm going to Misty Step and go as far away from him as I'm allowed to. I'm going to do that. Actually, oh no, yes, I am going to Misty Step. Okay, so I'm going to go across the room. Okay, nice. All right, Rowena. Okay, I'm going to try to shoot at him again. With a 20. 
Knight, that'll hit. And that's 11 points of damage. Very good. And I get to go again. I didn't use it in my last thing because I'm still getting used to it, but I have two attacks, so I'm going to try again. Mm -hmm. And that's a 21. Very good. Nice. With 10 points damage. Awesome. Okay. Griffith. Um... All right, gonna. I'm the only one in melee with him now, huh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to swing twice. Is, is are the dancing lights still up? Yep. So still at advantage. Yes. Um. Okay. First attack is a twenty-seven to hit. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, sorry. Not a 27. A, yeah, 20 something. 20 what? I'm bad at math. Tw 22. Oh, no, 22 does not. I'm okay. joking. Yes, of course it does. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, that's for six slashing. All right. And, <clears throat> hmm. I'll swing again. Sorry. Get in my battle maneuvers. Uh, another 22 to hit. Yep. And uh, I don't know if I'm looking at the rules for maneuvering attack. Uh, it doesn't. Just let it be. Um, I don't know if it applies to me, if I can use it on myself. All right. That's uh, seven damage. And I think that is going to be my turn. Very nice. All right, Zaroth. Okay. I just realized that uh, a short sword is a light weapon. I looked it up. Yeah. And so I can use two-handed weapons with a dagger and a short sword. Yeah. So I'm going to go get in close and dirty uh, with... With my short sword first. Actually, I'm going to get with my plus one dagger first. I don't know. It makes more sense to do short sword thematically. Okay. <laughs> right. He was actually supposed to go like four? several turns ago, but he, he's like, well. <laughs> <laughs> 2040 okay. hit? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then um, 1d6 plus four. So that's 10. And I'm going to use sneak attack for the 3d6. Oops. I'll, just, I'll do it one at a time. Sorry. That's four, five, eight. I'm even luckier to do it one at a time. Six. Dang. So that's uh, math plus Dang. 10. Um, 24. Um, nice. And then my second attack, right, so this will be my dagger. Uh, okay, missed that one, 13. Okay. That misses, right. Okay. Um, uh, he, he, he will kind of stumble. It's like, you know, you get the sword, you get the sword in between some ribs, and then you twist it and kind of jiggle it around. It's in there. And uh, he's like, ah, oh, it tickles. And... <laughs> Uh, he is, he's going to swing his flaming sword down at you for, uh, 25 is probably going to hit, right? Uh, yes. Give him like dodge. dodge. I do. That, that's after he hits me though. That does with damage, right? Okay. Um, yeah, he does. Uh, he does. Uh, uh, 12 damage. Okay, I think a cane dodge is uh -huh, reduces that by half. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to half the attack's damage against you. Yeah, so that's six damage. Okay. 
he swings back at Griffith uh, for 22 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. All right. 14 necrotic damage. Okay. Holy crowly. And then um, for okay. his last attack, he's uh, he swings back at uh, Zeroth for 25 to hit. <laughs> that's... And that's going to be 12 necrotic damage. Dang. Yeah, ouch. Uh, Jembleton. Okay. Uh, seeing you know the, these guys like getting hit repeatedly by this sword, <laughs> uh, I was thinking that I would go in and try to bop him, but instead, I will cast cure <laughs> wounds. At let me see, does it? Wait, let me make sure that's the one I want to use. Yeah. Um, Cure Wounds at the second level on Xeroth. Okay. Uh, so he'll get... As you do so, mm -hmm. the necrotic magic just blocks the spell completely. <laughs> oh, no. Interesting. Ah, that's so necrotic! <laughs> <laughs> So it blocks divine magic. Mm -hmm. Wow. Anything else? Uh, then I will say, uh, when I see that my spell doesn't work, um, can I? Oh, never mind. Uh, I'll say, um, if you're, I cannot keep you from dying. And that's all I'll say. And and he goes, uh, uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> I mean, it's been like three hundred years, but cool, man. Not, Who's it talking not to you? you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll say not you, so that you know my party knows that it's not that I'm talking to them. <laughs> not you. I, I can totally see him like messing that out, like like they didn't. He thinks that yeah, mm. that's. Funny. I just want to make sure no one's tricked by him. You're right. Yeah. Uh, what do you want uh, Tim to do? Not get what killed. What are Tim's spells? Um, Tim's spells are. Uh, he has poison spray, healing word, fairy Ooh. fire, of course. Um, healing word will work. Good berry. Good berry. Ooh, good berry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, good berry. Uh, mending. See so what I'm doing, good berry? I think, yeah. <laughs> Who should be good berry? He's gotten the, he's taken the most beatings. He's forced. I mean, uh, that's, um, <laughs> One of my seven names. <laughs> Griffin. Well, yeah, I was <laughs> Griffin I mean. yeah. I, but I have a um, second wind. <clears throat> I'm down to 20 life. I'm down to 20 life. Yeah, I'm down to 30. Give it to Zeroth. Is there uh, a to do another round of whatever? Is he going to do good berry? Can I? Is, Can that, what is that what y'all want? I mean, okay. Okay um, with everybody. If uh, he, he he goes um, slink shot into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Let me look. Let me look this up because <laughs> would be awesome. Uh, he he comes up. He's like he's dicks. like um uh. Zeroth, Zeroth, I can help. And like, and you're like, you're like bending over to, you know, trying to block the thing. And he just like, just stuffs these berries in your mouth. And you go, he goes, and she goes, I'm sorry. She, she stuffs these berries in your mouth. Goes, chew, chew, chew. Now you got to chew a lot before you swallow. Them. Otherwise you might block your, your yeah. and you're trying desperately to say, these are not helping me. And like, no, 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 don't talk now. 
Don't. I, now's I, not the time for words. Now's the time for I, chewing. I, I, <laughs> they don't help at all. Uh, but all sorry, right. it is your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy cow. Um, I'm going to need to run. All right. I'm going to cast Magic Missile at second level. It so doesn't matter. Cool. He had one hit point. <laughs> so, All right. So how does he die? <laughs> um, he he explodes in um in in a beautiful like purple explosion and like bones go everywhere and purple sparkles go everywhere and Tim goes. <laughs> you um. Uh, you. Uh, as as it as it does, and just uh, the whole room is um, is covered in this. Uh, you you kind of hear on the wind, you know, going, uh, "Thank you." I really felt bad about Caravarix. Things got out of control. Uh, I think the dragon lance fell behind the uh, you know behind the the platform there. <laughs> 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 And if y'all go up there, we have our rogue go check the platform up there to make sure it's not booby trapped. <laughs> I can do that <laughs> with twenty life left. No, I'll be good. I'm good. I'm, I'm feeling confident. That was exciting. All right, I'm gonna go check it for booby traps. Investigation. Okay. What What do you roll? I thought, or, or unless unless we're out of investigations. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can do it. Still can do an investigation. Okay. All right. Um, Twelve. Twelve. Um, uh, you don't find any any traps. You do see, though, that this this kind of rusted, warped lance is it had just kind of kind of fallen off the uh, uh, off the platform and 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 just uh, you know kind of settled where the, the dragon statue uh, was turning and that you are able to grab it if you'd like. Okay, I will. It's remarkably hold it. Yeah, it's remarkably light. You could tell like it's it's broken. But this used to be a massive, massive lance. Uh you know, far bigger than people would, would ride. Uh it would would wield on horses. And for the, the size yeah. of it, uh, the size of it, what's remaining, and, and you only have a, like a few feet of it remaining, but it's it's very light. Nice, found it, <laughs> or part of it. I'm gonna bring it back over to the group. The rest you, of it. As you turn to the south, you you notice that there's another uh, another broken wall, where undoubtedly Lord Soth had made his escape. But, uh, but if uh, Ladara is right, then you know, you know the name of the place where he's going, and mm-hmm. we will end things there. Uh, y'all are able to heal um, after the fight, okay. and so if y'all rest or something, we don't know exactly what y'all are going to do yet, but you will be able to to heal. Once we get out there, but we'll figure that out next time. Cool. Ooh. Thanks, man. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. You, was, you finished awesome. chapter four of the book. We're going to long rest <laughs> right here. Right. Here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm laying down right now and taking <laughs> this long rest. Uh, well, um, thank y'all. And thanks for everybody who did tune in. Um, new episode is, uh, of, of the main feed of the podcast is in a week and a half, we are continuing, um, uh, where we left off was sorry, uh, was, uh, just starting the test and, um, the rest of you had made a friend inside of a backpack who talked really fast. Yeah, and yeah, we're gonna go south of town to help out the backpack. Um, mm. 
And so these, uh, these were my, you know, the, the, that, that section was my favorite section so far. So I'm looking forward to these episodes coming out, but, um, if you are nice. on Patreon, those uh, those and Mont Blanc Sunders comes out a week early. And that's uh, patreon.com slash technofunkboy. Um, we got anything else coming up? I don't, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Um, well, well, we're going to play VHS Part 2, I would imagine, at some point. Yeah, hopefully. That was fun. Hopefully soon. I had a blast. Uh, last night we played VHS on Jeff Adams' channel, and uh, it's a uh, horror game inspired by 70s and 80s horror films. And uh, it was fun. It, it actually turned out to be a lot more fun than I expected it to be. And I, I had kind of high, high hopes for it. So I think, every, I think everybody enjoyed it. If you didn't, then I mean, fine. I'll just kill you off real quick. And you don't have to come back. <laughs> but in in true uh, in true uh, one shot fashion, we didn't finish. And so um, we'll have to uh, we'll finish next time. But that was... You know, if you don't finish a one shot in one session, the big bad evil guy automatically wins. Yeah. That's, oh no! That's where we left it. Yeah. It's like right, right after the camera cut. Then you all just keeled over and died. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so very good. Um, well, cool. We'll shut it down now, and uh, thank y'all, and we will catch y'all next time. Take care. All right.